How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student. And today we're going to be talking about the most common side effects that one experiences after getting their monkeypox vaccination. Before we get started with this video, I want to apologize for not uploading as regularly as I usually do. I try to make videos once a week, but it's been about a month since I did my last video upload. And that's because I was finishing up my third year of medical school and then I had my last board exam coming up. I passed it, so that means I'm scheduled to become Dr. Ben Haseen on May of 2023. That was the last exam I've ever had to take as a medical student. But I feel like every time I take a hiatus for making videos, some new thing happens in the world that needs to be talked about, especially in the in the areas of public health and, you know, health literacy and making sure that you know what's best for your body and how you can protect yourself and others uh, when it comes to disease and things that are wreaking havoc in our society. And for some reason, in the last couple of years, it's been everything. But monkeypox has been a huge issue in the world lately, and the U.S. just declared uh, monkeypox as an emergency that something that we need to address and something that we should encourage people to start getting vaccinated with now the most common vaccine available right now is the Janeos vaccine there's also the Adam 2000 vaccine but uh, a lot less people are going to be using that one because it has a uh, much much more um, I will say like serious side effect profile that people need to be aware of before they uh, qualify for the Adam 2000 vaccine. So I will be talking about the Janeos one because that's the one that's being administered by most health departments uh, for patients and the one that's being mostly used to be free and accessible for people to go to their local county health department to get. So we're gonna be talking about the most common side effects of the Janeos vaccine. and. If you don't already know, the, Gene the Gineos vaccine is a two-dose vaccine series. You take one dose, wait 28 days, and take the second dose. And um, not a lot of research has been done on long-term implications of the Gineos vaccine. I want to put a big asterisk on that. We, we, we still don't have enough research to see how effective this vaccine is and uh, what it'll look like long term. However, it's better than being unvaccinated for those who are at risk of monkeypox. So I'm going to split this uh, video up into two sections. The first section talks about the side effects that people experience who've never had the smallpox vaccine before or been exposed to smallpox. That's mostly younger people like me. I've never been vaccinated for smallpox. Luckily, it was eradicated. Uh, before I was born in the world, but there's another subset of group of older people um, who did get the smallpox vaccine because at that time, smallpox was a thing. So uh, both groups may experience slightly different variations in the side effects after getting the vaccine. So the most common symptoms that people who have never gotten who have never gotten the smallpox vaccine, people like me. Um, they experience pretty mild symptoms. So first of all, there are the local uh, reactions that may happen um, within eight days of getting uh, the injection. So the local reactions, um, the most common is pain. About 85% of people experience pain um, at the injection site. Some people experience some redness. That was around 61%. And around half the people experience some swelling and some hardness in the area. A smaller percentage of people, around 43%, uh, all also experience itching at the injection site. So these are really, really like common symptoms anybody really gets whenever they get a shot. So I'm not really surprised by these numbers or concerned about them. But when it comes to like, how are you feeling the day after getting the injection or within eight days, which is what the clinical trials have really looked at, um, how are you feeling after getting it? Um, the most common symptoms, and these are not even more than 50%, are uh, muscle pain, overall generalized muscle pain, and that was at 43%, uh, 43.1 exactly. And then uh, some people experience headache too, that was around 34.8%. And then um, there's the generalized weakness, feeling tired symptoms, that was around 30.4% of people who got the vaccine. Some people experienced nausea, feeling like they were going to throw up at 17.3%. And lastly, a really, really small group of people uh, experienced chills after getting their dose. And that was around 10.4%. So nothing uh, really serious um, 
nothing to be completely concerned about. So um, all of these symptoms are pretty common. I mean, I feel like the COVID vaccine had <laughs> a lot worse side effects than uh, the monkeypox vaccine did. Now, for people who've already gotten the smallpox vaccine earlier in life, y'all are the lucky ones. Y'all experience less symptoms and the symptoms that you do have, it's at a lower percentage than people who've never gotten the smallpox vaccine experience. So y'all are the lucky ones. Uh, y'all, um, the most common uh, localized reactions that people who've had the smallpox vaccine before, um, that is usually the same things as the, um, as the uh, uh, people who've never gotten the vaccine, and that includes redness, actually, pain. Redness and pain, we were, they're both around 80%. Uh, some people experience hardness at 70%, uh, and also their swelling and itching. Very, very similar to the same symptoms as the non-vaccinated against smallpox group of people like me. And of course, more detailed numbers are going to be down below in the description. I'm actually going to link to the FDA little fact sheet for the vaccine at the description of this video. Now, as far as generalized symptoms, uh, the most common uh, adverse reactions, systemic adverse reactions that people who've already had the small smallpox, smallpox vaccine um, have is uh, tiredness that was actually the most common that was at 33.5 percent then it was headache at 27.6 percent and lastly it was muscle pain compared to the non-smallpox vaccinated population where muscle pain was the most common so muscle pain was at 21.5 percent for the already vaccinated against smallpox population so these people experienced far less generalized systemic symptoms than people who have never gotten the smallpox vaccine. So um, that's something to look forward to if you are a, an older person who uh, have gotten the smallpox vaccine and are thinking about getting the monkeypox vaccine. Something that I really want to emphasize with the Janeos vaccine is the fact that uh, compared to the Adam 2000 vaccine, um, Janeos has no link so far. So far, there's been no evidence-based linked to any heart conditions. Now, we saw with the Adam 2000 variant of the smallpox vaccine vaccinations, that one has a slightly a slight chance of um, the patients who've taken it to develop myopericarditis, which is inflammation of the lining around your heart. Luckily, we there is no evidence-based link to that with the Janeos vaccine. Uh, so if you are worried about like heart conditions, if you do have a heart condition, but you want to get the monkeypox vaccine, the Janeos one, talk to your doctor and uh, more likely than, the, than not, the Janeos vaccine will be safer for you than the Adam 2000 vaccine. So the Janeos vaccine has a lot, lot, lot smoother, I, I use the word smoother, side effect profile than the Adam 2000 one, especially for those who are immunocompromised or have some underlying health condition that might make them more at risk for side effects of uh, vaccines. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I know uh, it's not it's not as robust, but I think this information is very, 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 very important for people who are thinking about getting the monkeypox vaccine but are scared of what kind of side effects. Maybe you were traumatized by the side effects that <laughs> the COVID vaccines have given you, but I assure you, um, the monkeypox vaccine side effect profile is a lot smoother than the COVID vaccine, <laughs> Pfizer and Moderna included vaccine profile. Anyways, I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you learned something and I hope that you'll share this information with someone who may benefit from this information. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life and activism work and just my inner thoughts if you want to know about them. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Mwah. This is Ben.